The reviews are in.
project, yet Ernest sitcom. This will be the point where the intro credits would roll. Mm. I've always wondered what the theme song to my hit show would be. This was the boys with the boom assist the doctor. This is a transitional joke. I call a group of honest, lovable Caucasians. This audience, thank you so much for coming. <laughs> I'm a salt of the earth kind of man. Yes. I buy all my underwear on Amazon and I eat a ton of cherry tomatoes. <laughs> I like to take these little one liners as they mention to the sitcom I pretend I star in. It could be starring me or my absolute doppelganger, People's Sexiest Man Alive, 2011 Bradley Cooper. The <laughs> resemblance is bananas. <laughs> there are only two major differences between People's Sexiest Man Alive, 2011 Bradley Cooper, and myself. For starters, he is incredibly wealthy, and um, unfortunately, my bank account has to run a lot of eat, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but unfortunately, it is completely unethical to have a sponsored theatrical experience. That's why I want to stop right here and talk to you about LaCroix. Stop. Uh, <laughs> Water, but make it sparkling. <laughs> Back to Bradley, right? I'm also going to share And when it comes to sharing his opinions, Bradley's mute. He's like that one really cool history teacher. Potentially racist, and honestly, a little too close with a group of Minors for my own personal taste. <laughs> <laughs> Although sometimes I close my eyes and I think about Mr. Glazer's Western Civilization course. <laughs> that warm caress gets me in a cold sweat, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you get good love me, baby. <laughs> Catherine? Hot take, honey. Thank you. So <laughs> hot take, I want to start with something objective. No, 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 no. Digestible. To me, Reese's Pieces are the clear superior to m &Ms. Another one clear as day, but the Home Depot's hell on earth. It reeks of fragile masculinity and black mold, and honestly, the orange letters feel like a hate crime. <laughs> I do want to stop right here, though, talk to you about LaCroix. <laughs> so yummy. That's L-A-C-R-O-I-X. That's LaCroix on all major social media platforms. And when I say hot takes, I don't mean anything objective, like understanding that our, con our country is constantly losing our trans brothers and sisters of color. And like, American school children go to school 180 days of the year with the fear of literally being murdered. Nothing blasé like that. Only fun stuff, like which of the Real Housewives has the biggest shoe size? <laughs> My mother's on one of the Lisas, and that's a faith hill I'll die on. <laughs> I need a costume change. <laughs> Candy. You okay back there, sweetie? I'm doing my best. Okay, I believe in you, darling. Thanks, Catherine. <laughs> if you want to hire Catherine, her email is contactcatherinemeyer at gmail.com. And that's Meyer like Oscar Meyer Baloney. M-A-Y-E-R. Someone's babushka decides to croak at 1.42 p.m. on a Tuesday. <laughs> now I walked it for 75 minutes until all of a sudden we can move again, this time without the courts. <laughs> oh. So now I went to Union Square, and all my friends went to the Trader Joe's wine store without me. <laughs> Tragic, that scratch. <laughs> and now that I'm fired up about the MTA, let me unpack a little here, okay? You don't need a double park on the C train, and your six-year-old does not need a seat. 
she could stand. When I was six years old, I actually had my doctorate, served three terms in Iraq, had a mortgage, and eye bags. <laughs> and your $22 Gucci bag, baby, don't need to see either. We see the stitching. We know you got in the corner of Delancey and Eldridge. <laughs> it could not have cost more than 22 USD. Thank you. Not to you out of fantasy here, but this might be a lot to digest. Mm -hmm. I'm a lot to digest, and I've come to terms with this. You know, you can think of me as porn. <laughs> Not the mid-90s alt-rock group, but the little kernel you see in your shit today after Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Stay hey, away, Kevin. Not the sun changing the subject. I thought it was the subject. Wow. That's a vocal scholarship. <laughs> anyway, back to my rambling. Recently I was told, actually, Matt, you're quite attractive. Actually? <laughs> what the fuck does actually mean? <laughs> Don't take this as a defense, you know, but I've never weighed more than 87 pounds all of my adult life. <laughs> I am a medical anomaly. And you read about my story on page 92 of the fourth edition of Mysteries of the Homosexual Body. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hydration is the key to good health. And that's why I want to talk about the croix. The croix. <laughs> For the sober. Mm -hmm. Back to my rambling. Recently, I realized it really matters the way you look in this industry, and it's kind of out of your control. I have done a lot of work to see myself as someone worthy mentally and physically, but it doesn't mean that casting directors will innately see me as somewhat hot or a leading man. And I actually do think we should have a study with casting directors and optometrists, because clearly they're fucking blind. Whoa! Oh, 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 shocking. He's so, like, whoa, he's, like, saying it. He's, like, going there, you know? <laughs> 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 that's what that's what got it? That was <laughs> Take it away, Cameron! It's hard when we're starting out in this industry. It's hard when it's starting out in this industry. When we're in school, we spend our whole time trying to find the thing that makes people notice us so we can cling to it. Early on, I realized I was funny. So I became the funny one. I am so proud to be the funny one. My entire life is fueled by comedy, and I'll note that I allow myself to let humor glide my way through almost every interaction, I don't think that's something I'd want to change either. My first year in the city, I was told to create the rules for your own interactions. At first, it seemed a little too grandiose for me because in acting school, we're all just kind of barefoot and winking and rolling around, <laughs> hoping to get a B plus from a teacher who's also a flat earther who also hasn't had a professional job in over 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> In acting school, we're all just kind of passing along the same case of mono like a friendly game of beach volleyball. <laughs> and most of our peers think they're more talented than Doc. <laughs> I have a list of 15 go on right now, strong. <laughs> you guys are like gonna make it. You have so much to say in this industry. <laughs> <laughs> Take it away, Catherine! We <laughs> our rules on our own interactions, and what he meant by that was. What he meant by that was. <coughs> Big how is he gonna cut it? All right. What he meant by that was that we all have our own rules for our day to day lives. <laughs> As it pertains to me, I make a lot of deprecating jokes, and that invites others to do the same. I used to be so deeply hurt whenever someone would make a jab at me that I had to realize these were my rules. We laugh at ourselves, we laugh at each other. We don't get hurt about it, and we share a LaCroix. <laughs> <laughs> LaCroix. It comes in cans. <laughs> no, it's true. Honestly, I wanted to pause right here for a second to chat. You know, I really want to know what my best side is. So I'm going to do a little test here, a little surprise <laughs> circle. Oh, old oh, oh, headshots, right? <laughs> here is side one. <laughs> and side two. <laughs> All right, so on the count of three, I want you to scream which side looks better. Un, deux, trois. Which visually comes as no surprise because it doesn't get any better than this. I'll do a spin reel. Here's clockwise. Clockwise. Being an artist in New York sometimes means that we're subjecting ourselves to a bloodbath. Some days I feel like there's more blood on my hands than an army hammers. After this thing's taken to the UCLA English majors. Which, by the way, I really feel like as a society, we've collectively forgotten that Army Hammer is a literal cannibal. <laughs> anyway, fuck that. Next! <laughs> it's a part of the gig to 
have to deal with unwarranted opinions, and having a thick skin is everything. When trying to get a thick skin, I tried to figure out some mantras. But the first one was, people have substance. Yeah, that immediately made sense to me. One of my old roommates had substance, fat and all. <laughs> I know. Although I didn't dabble in whatever the fuck that is, I really admired his hustle as an independent contractor, and he was having a steady third quarter increase. Just <laughs> keep changing the game. <laughs> the mantra that really worked for me was, know your worth. I know it's not particularly beneficial to just me, but why reinvent the wheel? It's like the Owen Wilson of mantras, and that man stays employed. <laughs> Owen Wilson! Yes, Owen! Yeah. 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 When I remember to know my worth, I know that I am more than just the eye candy in the corner or the horse hung herald. I know that I could do more than deliver a snappy one liner and clearance back button down, but I actually got from Buffalo Exchange. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Here is a haiku. Know your worth, girlfriend. <laughs> you are worth so much. You are. Poetry. <laughs> Almost priceless. Yep. <laughs> Someone say I'm like a modern day Shel Silverstein, but I prefer six foot Gen Z Maya Angelou. <laughs> it's tacky to say out loud, but the best things about ourselves are the thing that make us different. I don't know why that concept is so hard for higher ups and executives. Individualities are, and will always be, an asset. It seems to me that the only person truly represented in modern media is the five foot eight scrawny white man. It's like every movie set has a 40% grade A hypnobiliary photo. With that, I am so honored to announce that next month I will be doing a new Shut talking! Next month, I will be doing a new musical. Mein Kampf, the musical on ice. <laughs> but at last, I will do anything to be equity. Kate Schindler, if you're out there, I will do fucking anything to be equity. Sparta's <laughs> so, uh, Equity Association. Membership pairs well with LaCroix <laughs> and trust funds. <laughs> right now, I'm learning to trust my ultra slim gut. <laughs> what was funny about that? Oh, <laughs> no. I have so many opinions, and I stand by all of them, so I'm going to do the same thing for me all the time with the same gusto. I never thought that I would end this earnestly, but then again, I never thought Trader Joe's would raise their cult free orange juice and concentrate from a dollar ninety nine all the way to two twenty nine. <laughs> Sometime in life, the unimaginable happens, like Stephen Sondheim croaking, or the IRS recognizing that I don't have to be dependent. <laughs> Some may say that I'm rich for her pleasure, because it's time to wrap it up. That's a joke, virgins. This has really been a master class for you, and I have drawn on and on and on, and Sensei Matt's growing a little sleepy. <laughs> that being said, I'm not quite sure on how to end this. I don't really feel that we've come full circle in these last few minutes, and I don't really think that it's possible to be fully realized at the age of 22. With that, I do want to leave you with a few things. So this is my living will. <laughs> Well, the range that I possess, right? That was dramatic. <laughs> the whole of the range that I possess. The Range Rover that I possess. That I possessed. All right. <laughs> For starters, you know yourself better than anyone else does, and what you think is probably right. It's imperative to trust your gut. Mm -hmm. Not only that, this might be another hot take, but I'm going to stand by it. I believe people are naturally good intentioned. That's the bullshit. Here's the fun stuff. <laughs> Ice cream's overrated. Fist fights are funny. You should always tip 20%, if not more. Ooh. Mac and cheese shouldn't eat with a spoon. Socks belong with sandals. Gender is a fucking construct. I, yeah, and I feel like we are all so hard on tomatoes because they're like so yummy. I don't know what we all think about. Yeah. You should always answer your emails immediately. How many are rewarded? I'm looking at you or my PS when quick jump and And you mean so much more to people than what you think you do. Please never change who you are, although I do believe some of you should change almost everything about yourself. <laughs> Then we'll be at Cheesecake. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for talking to Snack with me. It's been an honor.